Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. I was down here in my basement doing some uh, blind bale shooting and uh, I thought I'd just real quick talk about uh, uh, arrow selection as it relates to hunting, uh, what I look for um, and what exactly my goals are for a good hunting arrow and I just want to just briefly share those with you today. So I'm assuming this is a compound bow scenario, uh, traditional stuff which is I also do, I also hunt with traditional equipment. Um, just to get that out of the way first, um, I do hunt with feathers and I do hunt with uh, at least 100 grain brass insert and at least 125 grain tip in the front end. This whole arrow here, uh, uh, Gold Tip Expedition Hunter, this thing weighs over 500 grains, just over 500, about 503 and that's out of a 47 pound recurve. Um, there's a lot of different rules and reasons as to why I do that but um, that's a that's a little bit more complex. However, compound is a little bit different, a little bit um, less complex. I'd like to dive into that. So for compound, at least a 400 grain arrow for me. Um, and I shoot in the 60 pound range, 60 to 64 pound range. Um, that's just kind of my goal. My main hunting arrow is this one. Uh, this is an Easton Carbon Storm. I like white wraps on mine. I like the long white wraps. It shows me what kind of blood I might have on my arrow, if it's gut, if it's liver, if it's lung. Um, I normally um, uh, shoot a, a shaft that's at least an inch longer than my draw length. So uh, this one is a 31 inch shaft, almost full length. I have a 30 inch draw length. Um, and uh, I need it that long actually because this is a 340. It's a little bit stiff. So, but I like this is a 433 grain arrow. Um, that's what a 100 grain tip. And this is optimal. I've never not had a pass through with a 425 or greater arrow. Um, I recommend you look forward to doing the same. Regardless of the pound you shoot, whether it's a 40 pound uh, compound all the way up to a 70, at least a 400 grain arrow. But going down in weight, this is a 407 grain arrow. I shoot this out of my Hoyt carbon element. This is a gold tip Exhibition Hunter 400 also with the 100 grain tip. Um, 407 grains, I'm not going any lower than that. Uh, every deer I've had with this arrow has been a pass through, um, but the last one I hit, um, it barely made it out. Like I, it, it made it out, but not through the air. It, it caught on some bushes and it was pulled out the rest of the way. It was up to probably about within uh, an inch or two of the fletchings. So it was gonna go out, it, was, it punctured two holes, but I like to go through on the fly, if you will. Um, so I won't go any lighter than 400 grains. Uh, with that being said, um, uh, this arrow here um, is uh, one my wife hunts with. This is a, a cheaper Carbon Express Wolverine, a 3050. Um, and this arrow, uh, when it tips the scales with a 100 grain point, it's only about 375 grains. Uh, which is not heavy enough in my opinion at all. So she shoots a con on contact two blade Magnus Stinger broadhead 125 grain and that actually then bumps it up that extra 25 bumps it up to 400 grain. If you're a smaller statured uh, archer you have a shorter draw length, you have a lighter poundage bow, you obviously A you need to be shooting a fixed blade broadhead but more importantly you want to probably think about putting 125 grain on there just to give yourself a little bit more weight. Um, uh, momentum is what takes that, uh, that arrow through that animal not speed. Um, so so that's what you want to consider when you are picking a broadhead size and picking an overall shaft weight. This is an Easton Bloodline, really good arrow. It is stupidly light, only about 200 um, and, uh, and 60 grains. This is actually cut 28 inches. Um, I don't shoot this arrow way too short for my draw length, but um, even with a, a, a 125 grain point on there, that's only 385 grains, and that's just too light for me. So actually, um, with something like this, I would use this in competition, say like a 3D shoot, I'm thinking of shooting out to longer ranges, but anything less than 400, personally for me, I would never take into the woods. Um, I would never feel confident enough at uh, certain distances that I would have enough momentum, enough mass weight behind the arrow. Kinetic energy, if you want to think of it that way, but really kinetic energy is the impact on the uh, skin of the animal, or initial impact. What really takes it through and causes the pass through is the momentum, the weight behind it. So that's just my personal opinion, my personal experience. Um, I hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something from it, or maybe have a, a tip now for you. I hope you're able to go out and enjoy the sport of archery, enjoy God's beautiful creation, and we'll see you next time.